factor out the greatest common factor. So recall that the greatest common factor is the largest factor that is common to all of the terms of a polynomial. So for 6a squared plus 10a, 6 and 10 share a factor of 2, and a squared and a share a factor of a. So then we can write that 6a squared plus 10a is equivalent to 2a times the quantity 3a plus 5. And we have factored out the GCF, the greatest common factor. In exercise b, 8x cubed y squared minus 7x squared y, 8 and 7 do not share any factors. x cubed and x squared share a factor of x squared y square and y share a factor of y. So we have eight that we have x square y times eight x y minus seven. Ten m square plus four m minus two. Ten, four, and two share a factor of two. Now we cannot include any variable factors because not all of the terms include variable factors. So I can write this as 2 times 5m squared plus 2m minus 1. Now exercise D looks a little different. But notice that we have 3, the first term is 3 times y times y plus 4, and the second term is 5 times y plus 4. So the y plus 4 is a common factor. So I can write d in factored form as y plus 4 times something. The y plus 4 was multiplied by 3y in the first term and by 5 in the second term. 